Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. Guys, welcome back to Beaker's Lab and welcome back to day two of the sneak peeks of the upcoming Clash update. Guys, this is going to be the best update that we've had in a long time. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, a lot of this stuff is going to be for high level people. But guys, this is so exciting just to see what Clash has in store for us. So we're in the developer build today. We're going to check it out uh, before it comes out. Let's look at it. And you can see right in front of us here, guys, <laughs> lately I've been trying to just zoom in on whatever we're talking about. So I don't like show other things that aren't supposed to be shown yet. So yeah, look at that thing though, guys, that is a new siege and you may have assumed this. I mean, when you get a new town hall, you get all kinds of new stuff and we're used to that by now, but I wasn't really sure what they could do with a siege that would be unique because we already have flying and ground. You know, I saw a lot of people um, in the comments and stuff lately say, what if one went underground or something? And I think that would have been sick. This does not do that, but I do want to show you guys what it does. It's called a siege barracks which is kind of cool. It doesn't really look like a barracks. Well, I guess me. It looks more like a clan castle, which again, it is kind of a clan castle. Yeah, you know what's kind of cool, guys? If you look really closely there, that blueprint, that like blue piece of paper there, it has this thing on it. It's, it's this thing with a big parachute and you're gonna see this thing does have a parachute. Hang on. All right, guys, let's check it out. This is the first time I've seen this. So, you know, let's just actually drop it. Let's just see what this thing does. No other troops whatsoever. Let's see what it do. Are you kidding? <laughs> what? Okay, so guys, I saw this in the description of the actual siege and it said Pekka, uh, like Pekka capacity one and then wizard capacity six. So I think, I mean, I'm not sure yet, but I think you can put troops in here and it gives you these free troops. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna find out right now. I forgot to put things in the clan castle, but isn't that crazy? Like, even if you don't have a clan castle, it gives you troops. Uh, I don't know. We gotta go back and figure this out because again, I'm not quite sure. But I think what we just saw was uh, basically a bonus Pekka. Cool. That Pekka looks sick too, right? <laughs> Pekka look real sick. All right, guys, let's go back. Okay, so let's go in here and actually see what it says. Okay, so the siege barracks parachutes down gracefully to first release a menagerie. That, that sounds like a bet, like somebody at Clash bet somebody else. I bet you can't put Menagerie into the game. They did it. You did it. A Menagerie of Pekas and Wizards and then the Clan Castle troops. Oh my God. That, that sounds like too much. Are you kidding? So we can put, <laughs> so we can have two Pekas, a bunch of Wizards and, a, and an Ice Golem in here. All right, guys, so now we're going back in and we are going to go in with actual clan castle troops. So look, we have a P.E.K.K.A., you know, the, the similar that we always use, a uh, P.E.K.K.A. and a Frosty Boy. And it's so weird that there's actually two P.E.K.K.A.s in there and a bunch of wizards. Oh, this is wild, man. So what I want to do is kind of like protect it this time. The last time we didn't whatsoever and it died really quickly. Well, the actual seed sort of like fell down to the ground really quickly. So let's try to do it this time with I mean, I don't know how far I can even get into the base, but we'll find out. Um, so let's start with the queen walk like we normally would. How you doing, Lou? Yo, she's actually drinking water today, dude. Okay. You're impressing me, Lou. She never does, dude. She always flips the bowl, but I, I tricked her today. I put a bowl within a bowl so she can't flip it. Hi. <laughs> Hi, are you gonna help drop troops? Yeah, I don't know about this, Lou. Anyway, let's keep an eye on the queen. Um, I just wanna funnel that side. Hey, bud, I can't see the troops. Okay, um, we'll drop a rage for her. Are you serious, Lou? We're, we're kind of trying to do sneak peeks here, bud. All right, hey, let me let me pick you up. Woo! All right, all right, so there we go. We got that. Um, what can we do on the other side? Just king? Cool, we'll do that. Oh, and I also have a electro drag. Forgot about that. Okay, so I'll drop a couple of whiz and then we should be funneled. Lulu, are you serious? I know I didn't give you any crunchies yet, but can you wait a second? All right, guys, here we go. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so I'm gonna drop it last. So everything, wait a minute. Can this thing be dropped anywhere on the map? I didn't even think about that yet. Can it be dropped like in the base? I, I didn't even try. Cause I didn't even think that was the case. Dang, and I, I didn't really bring anything to break walls because um, whatever. Anyway guys, this is, this is super cool. I mean, look, there's still troops coming out of it. Oh, look, it has like health. Oh, so that tells you how many troops it has left. So when it, there's my troops. This is weird. 
That was very weird, right? Okay, so my troops came out so late that I'm not sure that's gonna be effective, right? Or, okay, um, hmm. guys, I'm really seeing this for the first time. I mean, you, you can probably tell that. <laughs> I kind of like to do that with, with stuff like this because then I can see really the first time I see it is the first time you guys see it too. So um, I'm really wondering, it, it goes, it comes out so slow. How is that gonna help us? Uh, it, and also, one of the things I love about the siege, one of the things everyone loves about the siege is the fact, that, are you kidding me? Is the fact that um, it breaks walls for you. Even the air one breaks walls. You know, the um, the balloon shaped one, what's it called, the, the slammer? That even breaks walls for you. This thing I don't think is gonna break any walls for us, but uh, let's go back and try it again. And just, um, we also gotta get Lulu some food. Hang on. Hey, Lou, hey. You're all fired up today, and I appreciate the energy. I appreciate that big Lulu energy, but here, have some food. <laughs> she is so crazy with food. Okay, I am too. It's okay, bud. Give me a pound. Boom. Let's go. All right, gang, here we go. So again, I should have brought a jump spell or something that could get us in in um, to the actual base, but let me see. Can I drop this thing anywhere? Because if I can drop it like right in the middle of the base, I'm going to flip out. I'm absolutely going to flip out. No, no, you cannot. I'm glad, I'm glad because like, if this thing was able to just drop on the town hall, it would obviously be a wrap, right? Like if you could just drop, you know, balloons and uh, whatever in on the clan cast, on the town hall, you'd be done. Anyway, so what are we gonna do? If that's the case, if this thing is strictly gonna be on the outside of the base, it doesn't even move. Like wherever you drop it is where it is. I think you should probably, wait, I just got an idea. I just got an idea. All right. So we're going to do the same thing we did in the last one, but we're going to just be a little more diligent about it. Uh, let's drop the yeah king. Boom. Boom. We'll get him going. Cool. And then let's get in here like soon. Oh, you know what? Let's do one and then one. <laughs> it's kind of funny, man. It's kind of a funny just like thing. Like, look, okay. It just looks goofy. I think that's what I'm what I'm noticing here. Uh, let's quake there so we can get through the walls, hopefully uh, heal as well. And I mean, it's, you know, tough to even track what that that siege is doing, but it's doing stuff, man. That thing is really doing stuff. Uh, so here come the clan castle troops. This is what I'm worried about. Look at how late that that is. So it's almost like we've got to drop it first thing. Hmm. You know what you can do with it? Uh, we should have tried it this time. So you know how we did our king on the corner over here to clear the corner? We could have just dropped this siege over there. It would have definitely taken care of it. 100%. So in in a way, like that, that is something you could do. But really, I think this is a good idea for a siege because it's going to be a completely different way to play the game. Like right now, siege is so necessary to getting into the base. So people don't even have to bring jumps. I mean, I usually do, but people don't have to bring quakes or jumps as much anymore because siege, it gets you in. But if you got a different thing like this, you're gonna have to rethink that. And I think it's gonna open up the open up the door for some cool strategies. All right, gang, so this time I brought a jump spell. We're gonna put it right there. And I think, you know, that'll help already. But what if we just drop this? Um... Okay, like we said, let's drop it on the corner. Let's see what it does. Yo. This thing's actually really cool for clearing the corner. Look at this, because it's going to slowly funnel in these whiz. Uh, let's not, you know, let's let's keep it up here. But um, I'm going to drop one more because you know what? You don't even need to help it. Like the P.E.K.K.A. is out front tanking and and taking out buildings. And then these whiz are coming out. Look, look, there's a bunch of them. That's really cool, man. So in this case, I think this is maybe the way to do it. Like drop it super early. And yeah, some of our wizards died, but whatever. All right, so let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody else. Um, I have a, <laughs> I have an extra dragon here. What am I gonna do with that? I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I mean, this seems like it was too easy of a raid and it was a max town on 12, right? I don't know. I mean, when you really think about it, we did have a lot of extra troops. That siege is offering us, what, like 50 extra troops, more? No, it's like more, dude. It's like, seven wizards or eight wizards or something and a P.E.K.K.A. What? Cool. Anyway, yeah, guys, I'm just glad we got to check this out. Um, As I, I sort of always say this, but you know, 
The people who are gonna come up with the really rad strategies with this thing are not gonna be YouTubers like me. It's, it's gonna be people like you guys, you know? Uh, a million people are gonna use this thing and come up with some sick ideas for it. So, hey, I think it's a good idea, you know? As, as I think I said in the beginning, I was really hoping for something drastically different with a, a new siege. If a new siege came at the game, I was hoping it would be drastically different. And I think this is. I mean, I never would have thought of this. I, like a lot of you guys, thought, okay, What's the next thing? There could be like a minor siege where they go underground. That'd be sick. Just ignore the walls. That would be sick. And I bet they could come up um, with something cool with that someday. But this is something that I don't think any of us could have thought up. Like uh, a siege that gives you a free P.E.K.K.A. Okay, <laughs> cool. Oh my God, you know what this is like? I, I bet this idea sort of came from the idea of like a spawner hut in Clash Royale. I didn't even think of that, huh? In the meantime, guys, why don't we go into here? I just want to see this thing in action on one of these. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. We'll end it right here, guys. But until uh, tomorrow, when I hope we will be talking about some more stuff for the update, let us know how you're doing in the comments below. Uh, leave two for Lulu and all that good stuff. We're going to go out on this, but man, that P.E.K.K.A. looks so good. Hmm. When did the P.E.K.K.A.s start having like um, like fog coming off of them? You know how they, they look like they're, they have like smoke coming off of their armor? It's pretty cool. Dude, it's like a wizard spawner hut. It didn't even get to the end. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for coming out. We love you guys. If you enjoyed this one, let us know in the comments below. Leave two for Lulu and stay tuned for whatever else is coming in this next Clash update. It's going to be a good one, guys. Uh, so let us know what you think. And we will see you right here tomorrow on Beaker's Lab. Peace, gang.